I'm going to be listing my predictions for the mid-season premiere of the or of season six premiere of The Walking Dead. Now, as you can see, this is a, indeed a clip of the mid-season six premiere sneak peek in which Abraham, uh, the girl, I forget her name, I think her name's Sancha and or Sasha and Daryl get confronted by these biker guys whom I'm who I'm going to going to explain exactly who they may be and um, that's going to follow in with my predictions. So my predictions are basically, this is not going to be spoiler free by the way, so if you haven't watched the mid-season 6 finale or of season, yeah, um, uh, or any, or ha if you haven't caught up with or uh, The Walking Dead at all, then I suggest you click away from the video because obviously I don't want to spoil anything for you. And if you don't mind, then by all means stick around. Um, so my predictions for the mid-season 6 uh, premiere is that it's either going to be a full 60 minutes or 90 minutes. Uh, it's one or the other. I'm hoping that it's 90 minutes because I was told that it's going to be very, very well done and put together. And none of the, um, uh, th this episode is not going to be boring at all. And you're not going to want to go out to get, you know, to get up and stop watching it for just the slightest moment because I was told yet again that it is honestly really good. So my predictions is ultimately that both the side of Rick, where basically he's in Alexandria, he's him and other people in, at, at, uh, at Alexandria are pretty much exposed by the walkers f from the wolves in which ended up getting inside um, Alexandria um, and you know their wall fell down and then all the walkers came inside and now they basically have to gut their way throughout the walkers and what I mean by that is ultimately they have to put guts all over themselves so they feel so they're almost invincible quote-unquote there to the walkers which are zombies um, except they're not called zombies in The Walking Dead um, and then there's obviously this side of The Walking Dead, or the mid-season premiere, and I'm hoping that they do show us this side, because this is ultimately where everything kind of, um, a more story, a more character development ends up getting re uh, established. And what I mean by that is obviously because this guy here, he's talking to um, our group of, um, Rick's group here, it basically, um, he says that, uh, all their belongings belong to this guy named Negan, in which, for anyone who doesn't read the comics or hasn't followed up with the comics, he's ultimately a very, um, uh, evil person. Like, he's a really main, he's a very main, pro um, antagonist in the comics of The Walking Dead, and he's ultimately responsible for a lot of the deaths, um, protagonist deaths in The Walking Dead, the comic book at least, and it's, um, and they're basically called the Saviors. Now, I don't know if the producers have chosen to follow up with that name, however, in The Walking Dead, um, the comic book, they are named the Saviors, and so, um, it's going to be interesting, and why I say it's going to be interesting is because now we have the Wolves, now we have the Saviors. We have, uh, Daryl, uh, Sancha, uh, or Sasha, and then we have Abraham exposed with these biker dudes who say that they're going to be, um, take them back to where they were, which is Alexandria. And I know at this point of the, t um, or at this scene, I believe this does happen in the comics in which, um, some of these biker dudes end up getting killed. I'm not 100% sure, again, if their studio's going to go down with it. However, I'm pretty sure that's how it is done in the comics. Um, and so, again, it's going to be very, very interesting, I think, because obviously we have the wolves, which are a main threat to Alexandria and Rick's group, and then we have the saviors, and then we also have another group called the Hilltop, in which I believe, I don't know if they're necessarily bad, and I don't know if they're associated with the saviors, but I'm pretty sure the savior group, which is, again, associated with Negan, I'm pretty sure they, he follows up with, um, uh, I, I don't know, I, like, I don't know, I should say, um, if they're associated with um, Hilltop at all. But basically, I think that um, there's going to be a lot of character deaths in terms of Rick's group, as well as the Wolves, if they do get a chance to be featured in the premiere. And then obviously, then there's these, these biker dudes who are called the Saviors, I'm assuming. Um, being that they were in the comics. And so again, it'll be very, very interesting to see how that'll all play out. Um, being that we ended the season six, the Walking Dead season six mid-season um, finale very heavily. It was very hectic. A lot was going on. You know, there's walkers and there's new threats and new faces. And it's it was all it was a lot of a lot for us fans of The Walking Dead to process. And b me being, <laughs> I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead. I'm not the hugest, but I am a huge fan of The Walking Dead. Um, and I just simply cannot wait until Sunday at 9, um, for me, where I live at least, it's going to be at 9, um, 
And yeah, I, I'm just, I'm super excited for The Walking Dead. I really, really am. And I'm hoping that it's around 90 minutes like it was for the mid-season finale some time ago. I'm pretty sure it was 90 minutes. So I'm hoping it's 90 minutes and not the standard 60 minutes. However, each way, whatever way it goes, I know it's going to be hectic. I know it's going to be fun. I know this season or this half of the season, the rest of the season is going to be hell on earth because we're hell on TV shows or hell on the Walking Dead universe, if you will. Because obviously, again, Negan, um, if you guys would like me to, to explain who Negan is, I don't read the comics, so I can't really give a precise judgment um, on who exactly exactly who he is. However, following following up with um, YouTube channels who cover The Walking Dead, I can pretty much give my, like, my own two cents about who Negan is. And again, he's basically this villain. He's a, a very, like, brutal villain, and he has different rules um, and whatnot within his little group called the Saviors yet again. And I believe that they, they are... Um, uh, they, they live within a factory, I believe, in the comics at least. Now, I don't know if, again, if to see what happens with the saviors um, confronting um, Abraham and his people. So that's going to all play out, I'm hoping, very well. And again, I know this uh, side of the the uh, series, or not the series, this side of the, 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 um, the season of The Walking Dead Season 6 is going to be epic. I mean, it's just, I know it is, right? Um, they always go out with a bang, AMC, and the people behind The Walking Dead. And I simply cannot wait. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say by my prediction here. If you don't, then comment below, and I definitely will respond to you. Especially if you're just flat out confused. I hope you're not, though. But again... With that all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to tune into The Walking Dead this Sunday at 9 or wherever you live or whenever it's on for you, whenever, wherever you live. And with that all being said, yet again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Shut up. I am talking to the man. No, you're not.